And if you missed it yesterday, we were watching, uh, last night we were watching a very awkward Steel Toe Evening Show from January 15th. They're, they clearly were in a fight before the show. April has had a frump frown the entire time, just scrimping it up to the max. Uncomfortable, uncomfortable. She's tuned out. She's checked out of the marriage. I mean, she's daydreaming while movie just goes on and on. He's facing the opposite way. I mean, it was very bizarre, the whole show. But apparently about an hour and a half in, um, there was kind of a reveal of what the fight is about. And if you're not paying attention, you don't pick up on it. It's about money. It's about bills. And it's like rocking the M. Holt household. Again, this is a reason you don't do a show with your wife. I mean, this is savagely brutal. But watch this. This is about an hour and 26 minutes in. Let's turn it up. Tell everybody that we're better now. Are we, though? I Hold on. Here we go. Might need to wind it back a sec. Go for it. Because I didn't get that opportunity. You just want to hear about it because you're all lesboed out. Oh. Uh, I am a cunt, says Aaron misheard. He thought to jack off Gino with his teeth, not feet. <laughs> Ow. Ew, I'm picturing like a cheese scraper, like teeth oh, motion. Oh, man. Ew. Why do they have to be those kind of teeth? No toothy <laughs> blowjobs. Uh, 150 away from tonight. See, Balls Deep just threw in 10 bucks. Everybody throw in 10 bucks. We're going to knock out that 150 and no. Everybody throw in 10 bucks. I mean, what in the fuck? Imagine if you could get everybody throw to th if everyone in my chat threw in 10 bucks, I'd have I'd have three thousand dollars or more. Everyone throw in 10 bucks. <laughs> like what the fuck? I want 10 bucks a month, and I feel like that's a big ask from people. Join the overdose, okay? <laughs> I mean, Everyone throw in 10 bucks. <laughs> no time. Uh, Jim's Jazz says, what the fuck is this show? I don't know. It just got weird. All right. So the whole show again has been weird. They've clearly been in a fight. I mean, clearly been in a fight. Um, And then this happened. Um, April and I had a fight before the show, and now we're being all cutesy Aaron with each other. So now we're. So he admits it. April and I had a fight before the show, and now we're being all cutesy. And what does she say under her breath? Um, April and I had a fight before the show, and now we're being all cutesy Aaron with each other. Likes, so now we're Aaron now we're better off. I was gonna... trying to tell everybody that we're better. So he won't let her tell the story. Aaron apparently likes Aaron. Aaron likes Aaron. Apparently likes all cutesy Aaron with each other. Likes... So now we're. Aaron now we're better off. I was gonna... trying to tell everybody that we're... He's one of these guys. He has to tell his version of it before she can tell her version of it because they still are in the middle of the fight. The fight only stopped because they had a show to do, you know. And God forbid, don't do the show that makes $110 a night in lieu of saving what's left of your relationship. Pause it. Go, go on with the show and nobody will notice it's awkward. I can't wait for Onion Con so I can show your little Onion fans the true meaning of free slot play. <laughs> I have the hottest slot tips you have seen in your entire life. My Krang is merely a distraction for me to gain more free slot play. Will you join my Krang and I in the slot tournament during Hackamania? Hackamania, May 31st to June 2nd. Tickets on sale for overdose members as early as next week. And uh, General Pop uh, shortly after that. Uh, save the date. All right, here we go. Being all cutesy Aaron with each other, so now we're Aaron now we're better off. I was gonna... trying to tell everybody that we're better now. Are we? I was trying to tell everybody we're better now. We though, I think so. It was so fucking stupid too. It was a gay fight, it was... wasn't it? None of our fights are ever important. Ever. Our fights. None of our fights are ever important. Ever. But they're going to destroy us someday. They're fucking stupid. Whoa. I mean, boy, oh boy, did we miss some gold right here. They're going to destroy us. Ever important. Ever. But they're going to destroy us someday. They're fucking stupid. It is the stupidest fucking shit I've ever heard in my life. Destroy us? And like you have completely? no idea what it does to me inside. Like ever. done? 
You have no idea what it does to me inside. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, in fairness. Not you kinda, like it'll kill me someday. In fairness, you like, kind of started this one. So the fight is not over. The fight is not over. Again, they just paused it to do the show. And here we go, baby. <laughs> by asking what was wrong. You started it by asking what was wrong. No, no. And that's here not I what get it, nothing. That's not what it was. No. That's not what it was at all. It was me telling you what was wrong. You're going, oh, God. You did not. It was me telling you what was wrong, and you went, oh, God. Now, look, you can tell we're in full coat mode because he's laughing way too much, and he's got his eyes glued on that chat room. <laughs> and so he is watching what popular perception <laughs> of this is going to be how is this going to be received by the chat oh boy watch not offer that up right away no i needed a minute well so what it sounds like is she asked him what was wrong and he didn't tell her right away like a woman he she had to figure it out and he said i needed a minute Whew. when somebody notices something's horrifically wrong and i was having a good night excited to see you I was having a good night excited to see you. Where was she? I'm not kidding. She might have a job again. Somebody asked you how your night was going. I was excited to see you. And then you're like, oh, guy, what, what's wrong? You know, I'm scared now. And then So she came home. Mooby was moping. Oh, you're going you're gonna to find out what was wrong. You're going to find out. Look at the body language again. Now he's turned away from her again. You're like nothing, and it wasn't. It's clearly nothing. And so she asked him what was wrong, and he did the women nothing, nothing, nothing. Was not it, nothing. And was it about you at all? Kind of. Not at all. Not in a million years was it about you at all. I just don't like like full disclosure. I don't like it when I ask like out of caring what's wrong with somebody I care about, and they're like nothing. I mean, this is woman level behavior. Because clearly it's not nothing. And then what about if they tell you like 30, literally less than 30 seconds later? That would be a better later. outcome. Thir Don't less, start with nothing. Less than 30. <laughs> 30 seconds later, they tell you. I just think that you shouldn't... Um, you shouldn't insult people's intelligence that much by telling them that nothing is wrong. Sometimes, I mean, this is literally role reversal. Every everybody I know, it's the woman who does this, and you have to you ask her what's wrong. Nothing, nothing, and you have to figure it out. Like I'm not dumb. Something is wrong. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. It's just that you, you know. But now she has to do this with Aaron. She's Daddy Shark. Daddy Shark. Do, 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 Daddy Shark. Sometimes a man needs to go nothing so he can buy himself 30 seconds to think. So he sometimes a man needs to do movie quotes nonstop. And sometimes a man needs 30 seconds. Sometimes when you ask a man what's wrong. <laughs> a man needs 30 seconds to process Sometimes a man needs. This is his excuse for everything. Like, you don't get us men. Sometimes a man just needs time to process his feelings before he answers his wife. Um, you shouldn't insult people's intelligence that much by telling them that nothing is wrong. Sometimes a man needs to go nothing so he can buy himself 30 seconds to think so he can say the thing. I mean, do you think she's buying that? Look at her. Holy shit. You realize that's lying. <laughs> ah! You realize that's lying. That's just lying. You know, sometimes when a woman asks, have you been cheating? A man has to say no while he thinks about it and gets an answer together. You know, that's lying. No, no it's no, it's buying time. No, it's buying time. I don't know.
That's what it is. Uh, I'll just go kill myself. I'll just go kill myself. Again. I'll just go kill myself, he, she says. Our D-I-V-O-R-C-E becomes final today. Me and little Joey C will be going away. I love you both. And this will be pure H-E-double-L for me. Oh, I wish that we could stop this D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Oh, I know. R&R. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Professionally. Do you want to just kill myself? <laughs> what? Whoa. I understand. Like, women don't understand this. Here he goes. Mansplaining life to the ladies again, readjusting himself in his seat while she drinks. I mean, holy shit, the number of trulies this household puts away. <laughs> they just. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's uh, Australia. You can make them talk Australian. Bo Bob Levy Australian is the best. That's abusive. Like, that's abusing men. Right I would there. never do that. Now he's accusing her of abusing him. I don't know. He lied to her, and now he's trying to flip it and say, you are abusing me. That's what it is. Uh, I'll just go kill myself. Whoa, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why does he? I'm not kidding. It's every two minutes. Whoa. Why is she doing that? I don't know. It's it's non stop with this. It's non stop. Always back to the same spot. It never it's such an autistic tick that he has to constantly do this. Whoa! Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, April. <sighs> I don't know, yeah, whoa. Jeez, eh? whoa, the thing about men. I mean, holy fuck. Uh, Plaid Corp says every two seconds you're pausing. I mean, that's my show. You're here every day complaining about it. So we're both stuck in a loop. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around, and thanks for commenting uh, in the chat. Keep the... Uh, Chats per minute going. It all helps. Professionally. Do you understand? Like, women don't understand this. That's abusive. Like, that's abusing men. Right? I Moving it again. I would yeah. never do that to myself in front of you. <laughs> I, I, there's so many great faces. I can't stop. Do you understand? I couldn't stop pausing if I wanted to. I couldn't stop pausing this if I wanted to. Like, that's abusing men right I would there. never do that to myself in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not supposed to watch this three times? You know, I don't want to be in that world. Like, that's abusing men right I would there. never do that to myself in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't live without that. <laughs> Thank God you do it in secret. I, I mean... Are these alcoholic drinks? I mean, they're just guzzling. They're like passively, aggressively insulting each other and then just guzzling these hard seltzers. Like, what's going on? I do that thing where, like, you know how barn cats, when they're going to die? Like, I had. My you know how, like, when barn cats are going to die? No. No. First of all, I, I doubt many people here are cat people. We tend to shoo them away very quick quick around here barn cat people i don't know any barn cat people you know how barn cat new no, new no. i don't know if you're using barn as an adjective to describe something else uh, I, I know barn as a noun like it's over there by the barn i don't know anything about barn cats or barn turtles or barn horses, barn pigs, barn children, barn cat. Okay. Go on. My favorite barn cat, Stormy. My favorite barn cat. 
Yeah, this is Mac salad behavior. As a kid? Yeah. I had him for many, many years, and he was a good cat. But he was a tom cat, and he's tough. So when he got cancer once and was eating him from the outside in, I mean inside out. And like yeah, the outside in. Eventually, yeah. He didn't die in front of me. He ran off to die somewhere, and I never saw him. Okay. I would you, do that move. You would do that? Yeah. Okay, but how long do I have to look for you before I go fuck somebody else? What is this show now? Um, I also grew up in Florida. We had a barn and um, probably had a barn cat. So I'm there's a lot of acting I'm doing over here. And not you feel don't. guilty. I never looked for him. I knew he died. Wow, you're a piece I never looked for him. Piece of shit cat you, owner. You're not no, you're not supposed to go look for them. They did that to like be private and stuff, so you don't have to wait. <laughs> What she's telling him is basically if she goes hunting one afternoon and doesn't come home on time, he can fuck around. <laughs> you don't have to wait. Don't go looking. Just fuck. <laughs> just do. If I don't come home, please, please save yourself. Don't even wait. Uh, thank you very much to NoPen15 Fathead for 10 bucks over on PayPal. Hey, boys and girls, we're only 140 away from overtime. Uh, this show will be evidence someday, says Loaded Wrench. <laughs> no, you wouldn't believe it. We're doing very well right now. I he looks at her. We're doing very well right now. She's looking down, playing with her pen like she's been doing for an hour and a half on this show. We're doing pretty good right now, right? Say something. Wrench. No, you wouldn't believe it. We're doing very well right now. I feel like. Oh, there's a little micro expression here. We're going to need to do a Melton Zoom. Watch this little micro expression when he says we're doing very well. No, you wouldn't believe it. We're doing very well right now. I feel like. Did you see the eyebrows go up? No, you wouldn't believe it. We're doing very well right now. I feel like this is fantastic. <laughs> the fight was retarded. He can't apologize. This is this is like tantamount to an apology for him. I mean, he can't just say I'm sorry. He just keeps going, it was dumb. It's over now. We're good. Or oh, the staring. The amount of silence. Fantastic. The fight was retarded. You're giving my lost interest a clip right now. <laughs> and then you're giving Melton a... Oh, no. Chad, Kate, Kevin, Steel Toe. Everything gets run through this Melton filter. You're giving my lost interest a clip right now. <laughs> And then you're giving Melton a, I told you they weren't going to make divorce. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? <laughs> Not sad. I just called it. <laughs> I'm not celebrating. I told you they weren't going to make divorce. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? <laughs> told you they weren't going to make divorce. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? I told you they weren't going to make divorce. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? I told you they weren't going to make divorce. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? I told you they weren't. Just a clip right now. <laughs> and then you're giving Melton a, I told you they weren't going to make divorce. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? Ooh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what in the fuck? I told you that we're going to go on divorce. Is that, is that what I'm like? I told you that we're going to go divorce. Yeah, we are, Melton. What of it? She does the same thing Kate Meany does. See, Melton, I'm a good reader. See, Melton. Right, Melton. Right, Melton. Sorry. It's like, holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, God, it's so good. Linky, member for nine months. Thank you so much.
Uh, Mrs. C says he's intubated and he'll be excavated. So that's good. Balls Deep says K. Five month member. Thank you, Dayla. And Spurg Snake. Nine months has it been. Happy Friday to all you lovely people. Movie is falling. Uh, movie is failing in a very slow but spectacular fashion. I needed this today. Love you, Schmoopy. Get well. Get well soon. We want you to get well. Not today, but someday. You think so? I don't know. You think so, probably? How, I, how long? I'm so sick of trying to predict anything in my life anymore. Wait so. a minute. I mean, this shows you. Like, the plan just hasn't worked out. He started doing great once they left Terrestrial Radio so well. 33,000 members on Twitch. He told her, like, you don't have to work. Believe it or not, like, I'm making enough. Come help out with the show a little bit, but be a stay-at-home mom. You don't have to work. You're my queen. You're my princess. Well, we're going to run this radio empire. I mean, cut to now. It's just falling apart. It's not doing well. And now she lets this slip. I'm done trying to predict anything in my life. <laughs> oh, no. Instability is not the sign of a healthy thing. It's fucking stupid. How long, though? I would never predict anything anymore. How long is the divorce? Tell me that anything is worth predicting in life. Ooh. And the be- and the worst part is, you know, you live in Minnesota. Like, this should be a simple life. You're simple people, simple-minded, living in a simple town with simple folk. You need to, to make a very simple, basic income to live. Um, When did this start falling apart? She's like, I can't even predict anything anymore. When, when It's not even worth it. Why try? You have a far Think about more... everything that is in our life ever going on, good or bad right now, and tell me you would have predicted any of it. So just a little window starting to crack here, opening. What are they talking about? Tell me that you could have predicted anything going on in our life, good or bad right now. What's going on? Here's my thing. Here's where exactly. you and I here's where you and I are. Exactly. So something's going on. I think we're going to hear it, but you got to really, really listen to pick up on it. Remarkably different. I only see the good things in my life. And when you see good things, you have to immediately counter them and find a bad thing. So this explains a lot of movies outlook in a show. We're growing. We have more viewers than ever. I don't know what you're talking about. He only sees good things. Your thing is oh, this. Oh, no, I don't. I don't want the bad no, thing to happen. Yes, yes you it do. It finds me, though. Subco- no, you find it. You're a bad thing hunter. So... So here he goes again, laying into her. It's your fault. You're negative. If you have a thing that's well, like. Well, you're right here. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a thing that's like level 10 good, you have to take a level. I don't know if I have any level 10 goods right now. <laughs> I don't know if I have anything that's level 10 good right now. If you. Uh, this is a. That's really hard to imagine. Here's a. It's hard to imagine something good. It's hard to imagine a level 10 good in her life right now. How oh, April mm-hmm. works. And guys, don't make April feel bad. Let her know this is all women. If April has a level 10 good, she has to. She feels so guilty about having a level ten good that she has to take a level one bad and make it a level ten bad to counter the level ten good and go. See mm. now, this is just as confusing as Prize Night. <laughs> Nothing good. In can fairness, stay. the level, the true level ten bad things we have going on in our life. I did not ask for those. Okay, here we go. It's starting to crack. We're starting to get a view. To be fair, while well, she's tightening the knob, the level 10 bad things we have in our life right now, I did not ask for. Let's, let's break that down. What could these things be? Hit that like button, okay? Pathetic, 94 likes. It's fucking pathetic. Train yourself. Hit that like. The level 10 bad things 
I have in my life right now, I didn't ask for. So what what are these things? Ex-wife, Ashley LaRue. The children that aren't hers that she has to scoop. I was watching the Citizen M uh, Supercut today before the show. It's basically just him covering up the NLO logo with a Citizen M logo and playing my show. Um, it was, a, they, were, they were talking about the eggy scrimp mess and the puke. And now she has to clean it up and Aaron doesn't like to wash his hands because who cares? Just crazy shit. And then cut to this. The level 10 bad things in my life right now, I didn't ask for. And then look at his face. Uh oh! Did I do that? Ooh. Okay. And I did not wish them upon myself. I have. Z- I don't know what you're talking. I didn't wish them upon myself. The things that are bad in my life right now, I didn't ask for them, and I didn't wish them upon myself. Remember when she said to Chad uh, about Chad? I hope you never stop uh, tormenting him. Never leave him alone. She giggled and laughed. When it was her and her man on top of the world poking fun at everybody, she couldn't get enough. She squeed with delight and said, never leave Chad alone. This is so good. Then they, Chad got too personal, so they were like, we're done with Chad. Then they needed ratings, so now they're begging Chad to come back on the show now that they're under 2,000 views a day. And Gino runs over there like, no, their show's up and coming. I've got to wake up at 7 a.m. He's blown me off from my – Gino won't come on this show. Now he will because, like, now he wants attention. But I tried to get Gino on this show forever ago during all the Chad Steel Toe stuff. He wouldn't do it. But he will wake up at 7 a.m. to go on Steel Toe and talk to 228 people on Rumble. Patrick, it says there's 800. Yeah. I didn't misspeak talking about because i have zero level 10 bad oh things in my really life. yeah here we go i could show you here we go you ready to hear it you got to pick up on this to really hear what the problem is what are the problem is these kids is it the is it the ex-wife listen to this you gotta really listen fairness the level the true level 10 bad things we have going on in our life i did not ask for those and I did not wish them upon myself. I have z- I don't know what you're talking about because I have zero level 10 bad oh, things. Oh, really? Life. Yeah. Because I could show you a whole stack of level 10 bad upstairs. To me. Hear it? I could show you a whole stack. Of level 10 bad things upstairs. Now, what? Do people describe in stacks, particularly Midwestern dopes? Bills. Angry Chair has it. Bills. Bills. I have a stack of level 10 bad things upstairs piling up. Oh, <laughs> what? A stack of bills piling up. And she's letting this out on the show. I mean, this is this. Uh, the people who sent this to me, I think it was Balls Deep, who's one of their mods. So thank you, Balls Deep. Holy shit. All their mods are still like their mods and their friends, Little Lemmy and Citizen M and Stevie Lou and Bowles Deep. They're all like still over there mods them, but they're also like sending me like, holy shit, dude, you gotta see this. It's like, whoa, whoa, talk about barn cats. I have a stack of negative 10 things piling up. And beloved chatter makes a good point. It could be a stack of Puffy baby ducks pancakes. I have a stack of puffy baby baby ducks boy pancakes. A stack. It's bills. It's bills. 
What else could it be? I mean, let's not let's not beat around the bush. This isn't speculation. This isn't far fetched. It's bills. He has to be. And April is stressed, and she can't predict the future anymore. They can't afford a seventy-seven dollar flight to Florida. It's going bad. It's going real bad. So here it is, all all the way through. One more time. In her life, I did not ask for those. And I did not wish them upon myself. I have z I don't know what you're talking about because I have zero level. T and also, did he did he buy a truck or something? Did he take out a loan? Are they paying for the roof? She didn't ask for it, but now they have stacks of bills piling up. What? Ten bad oh, things. Oh, really? Life. Yeah. Because I could show you a whole stack of level ten bad upstairs. To me, that's a level four. A whole stack upstairs. That's insane. That's a level four. That is insane. I'm an optimistic person. No, I think that's just a matter of perception. It's a level four. A level 10 is like you died. Or like one nah, of the, I could hit level 10 a lot sooner than that. Like one of your kids dies or you die. That's a level 10. Uh, level, one of those, like, if you're looking at me, I don't know. Now, what was that? That is something right there. Uh, level one of those, like, if you're looking at me, I don't know. If I, I would say is something wrong with his kids. I, I feel like there's something right there that gets squashed. One of your kids dies or you die. That's a level 10. Uh, level one of those, like, if you're looking at me, I don't know. I'd love to know thoughts on that in the comments. If I, I would say a dog dying is a level six. And then I would say the thing you're talking about is a level four. That's because matter, that's just that something, is absolutely a matter of perception. Because that's something. Well, yes, that, but that's my whole my argument is I'm an is optimist like, and you're a pessimist. That to me is like a ruining my life right now kind of thing. No. So the, whatever the stack of thing upstairs is, it's ruining her life right now. What is it? It's ruining her life right now. I'm an like, optimist and you're a pessimist. That to me is like a ruining my life right now kind of thing. No. So April is unhappy. April is upset. April has to deal with a lot of stuff she didn't ask for or cause. I mean, this is, it's coming out. And everybody's calling it the limp wrist warning. Yeah. Oh, see that? You let you let yourself do that. You do that to yourself. Okay, Aaron. Uh, okay, Aaron. Oh, oh, oh. kind of thing. No, see that? You let you let yourself do that. You do that to yourself. Okay, Aaron. Optimists and pessimists are completely different people. All right. I so she's done with the argument. She wants to move on, but he's not picking up on that. He's got to drill her that she's hysterical and really hammer it home that he's right here. Optimists understand that you let things, you give things the power. Yeah, pessimists very much like see a bad thing and they're like, wow, this is really, really fucking shitty. And they're pleasantly surprised when it doesn't go that shittily. Right, but then they think shittily until that thing okay. is resolved. The you know what optimists, optimists do? Optimists sit there and like, oh, la -di da nothing bad's happening, really. And then everything shits the bed and like, oh, shit. No. So this is their life. I mean, if you think we're not getting an, a, 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 an unbridled view of their internal life right now, you're crazy. I mean, this is, this is as real as it gets. I mean, this is a couple that is going through something, and they don't even agree on the severity of what it is they're going through. April is like, we have bills piling up. And we cannot pay them. Money is going down. Money is going down. Money is going down. Think about this. They both have car leases, gym memberships, a new roof. They want to do hats one day. They can't afford it right now. But one day they want to do hats. Nobody likes onions.com slash store. Don't forget we got all new stuff, not just the stuff you see here. 
um, which will be gone, you know, when the winter's over. So grab your your warm stuff. People loving this Cardiff's Kids uh, Nanorpus Warhol stuff. I mean, that hoodie looks so sharp. Um, what's his name's wife has one. Brian Johnson's wife has one. It looks great. It looks great, even on that old frump. I just want to see if he's watching. You can call me man or person. How I find out if people are watching, I insult their wives live. <laughs> see if they go, hey! More, she'll probably pipe up. Oh, an optimist. Like Anne Marie, is that her? Is that her? Mist usually avoids the shitting the bed part because they're not no, staring at the ditch the entire time. I don't agree. I, I just love this. Really? And then everything shits the bed and like, oh shit. No, an optimist usually avoids the shitting the bed part because they're not no, staring at the ditch the entire time. I don't agree. I, I think some shit agree. just happens. I am an optimist and I'm a happier person than you. I ignore all the bills and you have to pay them. Fine. I'm that's but that's what I'm saying. It's because of the way I look at things. It's not because that's of that's fine. You're probably right. It's not because of my life or anything else. I've it's, always I kind just, of felt like Rebel Fluff, like April's a cynic, not a pessimist. I kind of feel that way, yeah. They're both they're the same thing. I don't know if they're the same thing. A cynic and a pessimist are the same thing. No. If you can't be like to me, if I couldn't be an optimist, I don't want to live. And Aaron truly is an optimist. I mean, he has his you know, entire ostrich head buried in the sand. La, 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 this is fine. Everything's on fire. You know, no, we have more viewers than we've ever had. A lot of people are loving the show on Twitter. It's like, you know, we can see Twitter, right? Like everyone's looking at his Twitter. There's no replies. There's no anything. It's like Chad. Chad will like tweet something and like there'll be four replies and they're all like, you're a loser. You're a fat felon. <laughs> like there is. And Chad's just deluding himself. Like, yeah, these are fans. This is all fans do. It's like, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Everyone gets four replies and they're all hate. Everyone. <laughs> like, Sorry, if I can't that's think not a lot of good. people's uh, experiences in life. A lot of people go through some shit and it does things to them. I'm, Glad for you that your shit that you've been through didn't do that to you. Right. I do feel like I'm very cynical, yeah. Everything that you think you are. April's, Mooby's hopeless. Mooby will always be able to trick another young, dumb cum dumpster into marrying him. Her window's closing rapidly. She's not smart. She doesn't have a lot of skills. You know, you can't really get paid to hunt. You know, Cabela's isn't looking for a new... Um, empty-headed model for their lady catalog. So she had a good thing going at the factory. You know, she was probably making 19 to 22 an hour. She had insurance. 73 days without incident. <laughs> Things were going well, and she's watching her opportunities and alternatives slowly slip away and realize that, oh, the eggs that she put into this basket have all broken, and now they're starting to smell, and she's got to clean them up. And the money that was once flowing from a successful radio man who had gotten too edgy for the waves and was going to take to the Internet, now he's talking about going back to the Internet because the Internet started go, but going back to terrestrial because the Internet's not, nobody makes money on the Internet, and there's no growth. So she's starting to go like, I do, I do, you do have to make a move here, April, like within the next two years, or you shall become frump mom of the Midwest and be, it will just be the bottom of the barrel opportunities for you from there on out. And this goes for everyone is a choice. Everything you think you are is a choice. It's a choice you made. Watch that. Holy shit. He's told her that so much. She's not even listening and she resents it. Watch. I never seen her make this face. Watch this. Holy shit. I almost didn't catch that. Watch this. And this goes for everyone is a choice. Everything you think you. Holy shit. I've never seen her do that. It's it's more than uh, dismissal. It's disdain. Watch how fast she flips these little eyelids. 
that you think you are, and this goes for everyone, is a choice. Everything you think you are is a choice. It's a choice. I mean, I've never seen I've never seen her do anything like that. What the fuck? Watch this. Are? Yeah, it is. You're right. It's a retake. She's going, uh. She's making a retard face to mock what he's saying. Uh, I'm uh, she's heard this so much. She's heard this so fucking much. Watch your face. Hey, Aaron, this is your wife. This is your wife. Watch this, dog. And this goes for everyone is a choice. Everything you think you are is a choice. <laughs> oh, people are saying that's what they call the ick. Think you are, and this goes for everyone, is a choice. Everything you think you are is a choice. It's a choice you made. I can't stop watching that. That's that's like involuntary hate. And this goes for everyone is a choice. Everything you think you are is a choice. It's a choice you made. People. That's a high school girl getting yelled at by a teacher. <laughs> oh. This goes for everyone is a choice. Everything you think you are is a choice. It's a choice you made. People, pessimists have this problem where they don't want to admit they're powerful because then they have to take ownership of every bad thing they Which think. Which one? Pessimists. Optimists know that they're as, as powerful as they want to be. And you're it, saying that pessimists don't want to admit power. Pessimists don't want to admit they have a lot of power because then they have to go, oh, I'm the one who made shit so negative and bad. No, sometimes people do throw shit at you in life that you 100% did not ask for. But then it's how you or handle like even it. Couldn't have been seen. Like the thing I'm referring to, never saw that coming. Not even one time. I could see it somehow. That's some a difference. Way. I never would have. What's happening to them? What are they talking about? What has happened? Been seen. Like the thing I'm referring to, never saw. That. The thing I'm referring to, I never saw this coming. What happened? But or, then it's how you or handle like even it. couldn't have been seen. Like the thing I'm referring to, never saw that coming. Not even one time. I could see it. Somehow, that's some a difference. Way. I never would have. So that's why it rocks me so hard. Because holy fucking shit. I am April's getting rocked so hard. Okay. Oh. Anticipate all things. It's like if I if you went in, into the doctor and you think you're in stellar health and they suddenly tell you, yeah, you've got stage four pancreatic cancer. Is there something wrong medically with April? What's happening? Is the house being foreclosed on? Yeah, is there a secret child? What's going on? Okay, but here's that what I... That was the same surprise for me. Here's how I... It was the same surprise for me. Approach stage four pancreatic cancer. Is I go, okay, I freak out for a long time. And then I go, okay, what do we do now? Let's, what, let's get on the road to fixing this. What do we do? And then, like, the worst case scenario is I die. Right? So anything's better than that. So I hope for those things. Yeah, worst case for who? <laughs> Greg Arias says April found his gay porn stash finally. God damn it, would that be a funny day? That would have been actually, that would have been a far better event than what I actually am dealing with. So it, I would have loved to find a humongous stash of porn, gay porn, right under our bed. Literally. Is that the joke? You find a bunch of gay porn under my bed? Is that the joke? Because <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. That'd be a pretty good day for me, you find a bunch of gay porn under my bed. Is that the joke? Really right under our bed with huge black dildos and everything with your name engraved in them. I mean, I'll show you all my I gay porn. I would have rather done that. I'll show you my gay I porn. I would have rather endured either living as your beard or going through a divorce and letting you be who you really are. She would rat whatever they're going through. She would rather her husband be gay than this. I mean, what is happening with Rot Pocket? Rot Pockets. Than what I'm going through right now. I don't know, man. I'm what going, is what am I hearing? Do you hear that? That's the dog. I'm going through no, the not. same thing. You're they're being swatted again. You're going through, and I'm just kind of going. Eh, that'll take care of itself.
the wheels are in motion. It's now this is what's funny. April thinks someone's breaking in upstairs, and watch the little the little exchange about beer afterwards will sum up their whole relationship. Watch this. You let me know if you catch it. I'm not, I'm gonna play it. I'm not gonna pause it. You let me know if you catch it. It's all good. That's the TV. Sounds like there's people upstairs. I don't like that. Do you want me to go check it out? No. Do you I, want me to go see? I'm going to go get a beer. And oh, I'll see. Oh, fine. Then I'll go get a beer after you. All right. Sid Seraph with 1999 says. What did you catch? Now, first of all, yes, it's very funny that he did the boxing move. Do you want me to go upstairs and check it out? But that's not it. He said, I'm going to go upstairs and I'll get a beer. Now, yeah, he needs alcohol. But then she says, then I'll go upstairs and I'll get a beer. They're at the point where they both want a beer. Neither one's going to bring the other one a beer. They're both going to, you'll go get a beer. And then when you come back, I'll go get a beer. That way we can maximize time apart. You want me to go up and get a beer? She doesn't say, get me a beer too. She says, when you come back, I'll go get a beer. What in the fuck? And again, these guys drink every night. You know, they call me a drunk. Everyone calls me a drunk. I rarely drink. I think I had five drinks in uh, in Hawaii. The whole 10 days. I'll go get a beer. Yeah, and then when you come back, I'll go get a beer. It's like, what the fuck? That's the TV. Sounds like there's people upstairs. I don't like that. Do you want me to go check it out? No. Do you I, want me to go see? I'm going to go get a beer. And oh, I'll see. fine. Then I'll go get a beer after you. All right. Sid, sir. Fine. Fine. Then I'll go get a beer after you. <laughs> you want me to go? You want me to go find out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, boxer. Rap with 1999 says, let's go. 125 away from tonight. If you guys want to keep that going, thank you very much. You can get an extra half hour of this shit. Are you kidding uh, me? Yeah, but let's go where? Hell? If it's not, if this isn't fun anymore, should they be doing it? I mean, Sid Seraph said, let's go. Yeah, but where? Hell? Oh, my Lord. And they leave the TV just blaring upstairs. Like, this is wild stuff. Where are we going? Like, to me, like, this is the difference between me and the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> she laughed out loud. And you're going to like the way you look. Is that... That's funny. I enjoy... <laughs> She's so over it. She's so over it. You know, the days of joking about fucking April were funny, but like, I... someone's gonna. Someone's gonna. You know, I don't know if it's going to be Chad or Gino or LL Cool Lee, but... It's going to be somebody. I mean, you think he's laying it down now? I mean, someone's going to get in there. This is going to fall apart. As far as I know, beloved chatter has a shot. Enjoy this. I like That's this. That's really funny. What? The difference you between like me and hell? the world? No, I like this. I like talking about these things. Yeah, this is hell to her. She's telling you that. Stress? Yeah. That you don't have, apparently, and everybody else does, so we feel broken because you're so perfect? Holy actual shit. Like, holy actual shit. Is this really happening? Like, what in the fuck? Why would you all, why would you be doing this? Yeah. That you don't have, apparently, and everybody else does, so we feel broken because you're so perfect? But that you understand that you can't make that person feel shitty about being a positive I, no, person. No, I envy you somehow. I'm like, wow, it is incredible to watch this person never fall apart about anything because... You held him in a garage while he wept. He got suspended off Twitch, which is something that happens to e-girls and cam whores. And then he cried in a garage and you had to hold him. And then you have the audacity to say he never falls apart. <laughs> what? We watch these. I mean, this is falling apart. I don't know how your sweaters stay together, but 
you know, th this thing is coming unraveled in the wash. Because I truly do. But I think the things that fall apart over typically do matter. But they typically do work themselves out. Eventually. Because she's worrying about it and working it out. <laughs> but that doesn't mean people don't lose their but minds see, right away. But that's what I do. I have the, the foresight to go, okay, I've seen this movie before. This does work itself see, out. No, no, I haven't. That's the big difference. You've seen it. I have not. This is my first Rodeo, and I bet when you had your first one, you were fucked up too. But so this is the marriage? Children? Is she pregnant? Could she be pregnant? It's my first rodeo. When you had your first one, you were nervous too. Marriage or pregnancy? What are we talking about? I mean, is it pregnant? Is she pregnant? Because, wow, if we're bringing a... Somebody said it sounds like bankruptcy. Divorce. I thought she had her whole uterus ripped out. Is she able to get pregnant? Could this be pregnancy? I mean, wow. Hit that like button. Marriage. She's definitely pregnant. Bankruptcy. If so, he... Oh, hold on. Did, didn't Aaron have a vasectomy, somebody said? Oh no! Hello. Hey, dude. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna vote for lawsuit. I think Ashley Larue is coming for their asses. For what? More money, baby. Oh, she's drinking. They're saying she can't be pregnant. She's drinking. Yeah. See. Okay. So we can mark that off the list. Right. So it's so she's talking about thing. marriage. Something with the marriage, maybe. Or or divorce or bankruptcy or a lawsuit or yeah, agreed, agreed. Stack up, stack of papers, taxes. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to add my two cents. Have a good day, bro. Thank you. Yeah, maybe an audit. People are saying he had his tubes tied, so no baby. Okay. He had, his two, he had his tubes tied. But I didn't have someone older than me who'd been through it before to go look. Your parents or anything? Be all right. They no didn't one. know what, they've never been through that. What is going on? I mean, this is getting more and more cryptic. Let's play it. Play it back. I mean, what in the fuck? And I bet when you had your first one, you were fucked up too. But I didn't have someone older than me who'd been through it before to go look. Your parents or anything? Be all right. They no didn't one. know what they've never been through that. Is it an audit? Nobody. We gotta, we gotta take it easy on what we're referencing here, by the way. We're talking um, about uh transitioning. Transitioning to a different gender. Are they broke? What's what's happening? Hello. Hey, you know how uh, April and Aaron both went and got their drinks separately? Yeah. So I'm thinking, have you ever known pregnant chicks to pretend to be drinking booze? Where they're like at a party, they don't want to let people know they're pregnant yet, but they don't, you know, people don't want to, you don't want them to ask, why are you getting, why are you drinking, uh, yeah, not drinking booze? Not a bad theory, so, but I, knowing them, I think they'd be, they'd already be milking this for money somehow if she was pregnant. Ew. Right? All right, bye. <laughs> True. <laughs> bye. Yeah, I think I think if, if she was pregnant, they'd already be like, oh, uh, April's pregnant. We're going to need more money. We got to put up a baby meter. Hello? All right. That person left. So I, th I think they'd already be um, bankruptcy is a transition. They are broke. They might be selling the house. Lottery scam caught up with them. Even in the midst of the situation, they got a slide and a tranny joke. 100% the baby goal. Yeah, I don't think it's pregnancy because they they really would uh, be already 
nine months of milking, if you know what I mean. Hello? That, I think it's uh, 10 months later, but I do believe that this might be the Minnesota Attorney General coming down on Pride <laughs> no, night. No, 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 I don't think so. I doubt that. Hello? Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, <laughs> Starbucks ambassador here. Hey, did you see that stuff about Carl playing a man to win? No. Oh, Kevin destroyed him. Yeah, okay. I'll have to it look. was great. You should have seen the thing. It yeah. was, so Kevin. I'll look into it. Um. Okay. <laughs> so thorough, Joe Burrow. Uh, it's happening. The OnlyFans window is closing, and there are a couple signatures away from April being a fancy free bird. It's anchor baby time for steel toe. I don't know if that's true. And I scream from the top of my lungs, what's going on? Super chats are down. Memberships are down. My testosterone is down. Your love for me is down. Our income is down. Our outgo is up. My hairline is back. My dick is shrinking. <laughs> and I couldn't look any more like gumball than I do right now. That's what's going on. And I say, hey, 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 hey. I said, hey. Uh, eh, what's going on? <laughs> and I say, hey, a, a, hey, a, a. I said, hey, uh, what's going on? Oh God, I love in the four non blondes. Oh God. I woke up in the morning with a stack of pills, and I headed down to see my pill of a husband. I said, what's going on? No, you um. Here's the other thing about pessimists. They cling to their pessimism like it's an ally, and they won't let you shake them loose oh of it. Oh, my goodness. They won't let you do it. You can sit there and tell them about all the flowers and the trees and the birds and the bees, and they'll go, you're a faggot. And then you'll go, well, I guess I'm a faggot. I mean, that's fine, but I, you know, I got a good outlook on shit. Uh, Paul R. Nelson says it's called he truly believes he's perfect despite all the evidence saying the opposite. I don't. I don't think I'm perfect I at all. I think there's a level of that you think you hate handle things perfectly you think you handle things perfectly oh my god i didn't get this deep into the clip but it just keeps getting better and better compared to other people yeah. no i think yeah. i i think i demonstrably handle things better than some people but i don't think all people know there's a lot of people i watch and i go holy shit man that's amazing would you say it would be an honest statement for you to believe that you handle everything better than i do I mean, imagine doing this on air. Imagine letting this leak out on air. You're pretty much having your fight. B Smiley says the clock is ticking. Um, Yeah. Waiver, of course, uh, coming in. B Smiley coming in. LL Cooley, it's tax season and Aaron's company is being audited. My guess, see at Hackamania. Could it be an audit? Audit in January is kind of odd, no? No, you handle some things way better than I do. There's some name one. Some shit you handle far better than I do. I don't know what. I can't I taking dick? No, not that. Handle negativity better than you do. You probably handle positivity better than That's I do. That's insane to say though, because if it's something positive, you She's plucking her eyebrows out while this is going on. Are you watching that? Watch her shouldn't even need to handle it it's just a really cool positive I'm, thing i'm an optimist what are you handling if it's positive i'm no you get like more you get like more excited i want to embrace a happy thing in my life yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's you, good you and don't forget the stack yeah what is it medical bills brace happy things better than i do and I'm I, not embrace, i'm not gonna go ahead and embrace a negative negative. and i face bad things better way better than you do that's so weird to hear. What? Just, just that, like, a handling of, like, a positive. Like, I, I don't see a positive as something to be handled. Like, also, she said she couldn't imagine a positive in her life right now. She said that earlier.
I'm an optimist, so I assume the best is going to happen. So when it happens, I'm like, things are right. Okay, so then why, when you have a positive thing, do you think I handle it better than an optimist? Because you expect... That's insane. No, it's... If it's an audit, I think they're going to be in trouble because there's no way they know what the fuck they're doing. 100% right on this. Because you expect shitty, terrible things to happen. You convince yourself that you deserve it, that it's terrible, that it's awful. So then when a good thing happens, you're so thankful and you love it so much and you want to cling to it and grab to it. Yes, it feels like a warm blanket. Whereas I go... That's we're right on track. So you get to enjoy those moments more than I do. I don't get to enjoy them the way you do because I don't assume a bad thing's going to happen. It, on the flip side, I handle a better a bad thing better than you because I go, oh, this will turn into a positive pretty quick. We'll be fine. This will turn into a positive. I mean, negatives don't usually turn into positives. Fine. I, I, right? <laughs> I mean, he's not even using sound logic. He's just trying to confuse her to make her wrong. He has to be right. That's that's the goal here, not to belittle the other goal. <laughs> uh, Eddie S says JLP watching this somewhere, shaking his head in disgust. Beta. Who me? Who's beta? Me? I'm beta. Definitely me. I'm apparently. a little gay. A little gay. Oh. The chat says, oh, my God, stop. Ah, lady, you can can you shut up? I look, we're both being gay. OK, okay. so look, um, I had to watch that. It was a great clip. Let me check my email here so we don't get in trouble. Um, oh, he's the guy. Um, is uh, he's OK with me ranting about him. Look, it's fine. I just don't get mad if I don't read an email during the show. Sometimes I forget, and I'm not checking email. Get over it. You, s- He's like, I didn't expect a reply back. It's just that you didn't. It's like you called me rude. I'm, I was just busy. I'm not rude. I, I, I Calm down, everybody. Stop. It's not you. I don't know you, so I'm not trying to be mean to you. Like, stop assigning that much intention to everything. It's really disgusting and needy, and you should get over that. Be more like Tiff. All right, so I got I to gotta show you what came in yesterday that I was giddy about. And um, we'll do it while they're live, because I know April might. She's privated this before, and it's back to unprivate, and it's back in the open. And boy, is there something going on. That is unfucking real. That is public information if you have been looking. And uh, someone sent this in. I don't know if they want credit. If they're in the chat, they can take credit for it. I don't want to give anything away. Um, I've always told this person I, you know, confidence. And that's what I try to do here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, April M. Holt has unprivated and started using her Pinterest again. And while it's funny to go through all the shrimp recipes and nail designs, because God knows we all want to know what a poor woman gets for a feature nail. There's a new... Stella says you're welcome. It was Stella. There's a new uh, little Pinterest notebook album here. And I'm going to let you see how quickly you can find it. Anybody see it yet? Anything popping out of interest? Now, again, she's only been using this for a few weeks. Again. Does anybody see it? Does anyone see it yet? It's right here, and it's wild. It's Aaron's Tattoo Ideas. <laughs> Bink. Aaron's Tattoo Ideas. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Aaron thinking about getting a sleeve like his girl. Now, it's bad enough 
when you have an album called Bird Tattoo Ideas. Okay, I mean, hello. Hello, that's funny. So she wants more tattoos. She wants tiny tattoos. She's been, you know, they, she stopped using this when we made fun of it last year, but she's recently, just in the past couple weeks, started using it again. And this is in the past week. Aaron's tattoo ideas. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you learn. Are we saving this for one he wins? When's he going to win one? He's, he's fought twice, and now he teaches. He fought twice, he lost, and now he teaches. So sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Lean. <laughs> Aaron's tattoo ideas. Can you fucking believe it? Can you believe it? It's the fucking hackiest things in the world. Please get an old timey microphone on your arm, you weird loser. Please get an old timey microphone on your arm, loser. What the fuck? He has two ideas. It's it's boxing gloves and an old timey microphone. <laughs> oh, what? What? Kumia's logo. Yeah, it's the most uninspired hack thing you could do as a comic. Oh yeah, get the one with the fingers around it. That's dope. That's dope. Aaron tattoo ideas. Yeah, he, he, she has a million of them. He probably looks at them after they try to fuck. She probably he probably looks at her tattoos like, "So, does it hurt?" <laughs> Did it hurt? It's a needle, right? Ew. You think I should try to get one? And then like all the models are like these pasty movie skinned <laughs> like um yeah yeah clip that one that's a possibility like what look at these goofy ones look at these cartoony goofy can you please get this with flowers tattoo ideas from aaron Flowers and cartoony boxing gloves. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you learn. <laughs> oh, no, ape. Come on. And then these are like realistic looking. That's pretty cool. What about this? And this time around, I know what I'm fighting for. Yeah, what's that, Jimmy? Milk. Pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, can you believe this? And and look, she's working on this a week ago. She's working on this a week ago. So this is current. He wants a tattoo. He is currently thinking of ideas and the only ideas he's thought of so far are an old timey microphone or boxing gloves. And, and a lot of the designs feature flowers. So pretty cool. Oh no, this is not a microphone or boxing. Forgot to live. I almost missed this one. I just saw this. This is not a microphone. This is not boxing gloves. This is a tombstone with flowers and hills of dirt. Forgot to live.
I, I if you discovered a male friend of yours. Wow. Wow. So yeah, I um look, I know we haven't done an art contest in a long time. But if there was ever an assignment worthy of our attention, I think it's Aaron M. Holt's arm canvas. So I would like to propose that for next Friday, we take in your best designs and ideas for Aaron M. Holt's tattoo. Ah, uh, you get you're gonna get a full week for this. A full week for this. Aaron M. Holt's tattoo. Um, a full week. A full week for this. There are two ways to enter this contest. Contest at nobodylikesonions.com. If you email it to another address, it won't count. I'm letting you know right now. We're organizing this thing. Contest at nobodylikesonions.com or send it in once to the to the art contest submission channel on uh, our Discord. Discord.gg slash NLO. All these links are in the uh, are in the description of the show on YouTube. Or on our website, nobodylikesonions.com. Uh, contest at nobodylikesonions.com. Get it in. And uh, the art contest submission channel on the Discord. Do not ask questions about why you can't see what you sent in to the submissions channel. It's blind. It's a it's an inbox. You drop it in and you can't see it. You can't see other people's. Don't worry about it. Uh, one week. We should get some really really good ones out of this because this is pathetic. These are this is not a lot of good ideas, and we really need some ideas for Aaron especially after the interaction we just saw. I mean, there's got to be a lot of stuff coming out soon about this couple. Surely anything medical would be milked by now, right? Jesus Christ. Milked. Uh, flying Oil Can, thank you for becoming a member of our program. Uh, beloved Chatter, $5. This marriage is at stage four. Removing the limp-wristed tumor is the only... Path forward. Your yeah, beloved chatter is very disturbed by the limp wrist. Whether whether in the boxing ring or the radio or airwaves or also or my own house, you know, I query out such a it's a hold court. My years of experience and success give me the opportunity to lecture small minds like April. I hide my insecurities wow. behind a mask of bravado and hubris. But lately my gaslighting isn't working on the scrimp. I'm going to have to start ramping up my campaign of propaganda to beat her into submission. I'm going to murder this bitch while he sleeps. That one where she, like, you're right. She made that retard face. Like, he was like, you got to control it. You make the decision to be miserable. And she was just like, it's like, this is over, man. I don't know. I don't know if he ever even sees that. Those little little micro expressions. Aaron's makes. stack of gay porn is ruining our marriage. He sits there every day watching volume one through eight of Twinks and Hunting Vests. April, if you didn't have tits like a man in a rot pocket that smells like an asshole, <laughs> I wouldn't be gay. You're not the only one in this house that can take a mile of dick. Uh, Jason Bentley, $50. Uh, I'm working this morning, so I'm in and out. But did I hear something... Uh, earlier about having Gino on. I can't handle Chad on one show and Gino on another. Pat Dixon is all I have left. No, Gino's on. Uh, no, I'm saying Gino's like afraid to come on this show. He asked twice, like, oh, when? Uh, when? Uh, yeah, yeah. So no worries. Again, I can't work with people like Gino and Stevie who can't like communicate. It's like, imagine trying to book these guys for something. Like, they'll go, like, oh, I can't really answer right now. It's like, okay, well, let me know when the work's over. And then also, like, if this is a work, like, how long do you guys let it just simmer? When's the big payoff? Cool work. Oh, God, it's gone. I know a guy who can really do the cool work. Remember that? Cool work. 
Um, what else we got? In a, I don't want to vacation nails. <laughs> Vacation nails for April. What are the difference between vacation nails and home nails? Like these aren't good for cleaning up scrimp and eggs. Vacation nails. Okay. Tiny tattoo ideas. Die with memories, not dreams. <laughs> so kill all your dreams and die with your memories. She really wants another cross. I wish we could go to our, go to our old church. I wish we could go to our old church. Bird tattoo ideas. Bird tattoo ideas. April looks like a cool bird. Where is that clip? April looks like a cool bird. April looks like a really cool bird today. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we want the bird tattoo ideas. April looks like a really cool bird today. <laughs> oh, God, it's just getting, it's getting too good. Bird tattoo ideas. She wants a cardinal? Or a mallard? She hasn't decided yet. Either a duck or a cardinal. It's tough. Like, ducks are cool, but cardinals are also cool. I could go with a crane or an egret. I was thinking about maybe a Muscovy. I mean, what in the fuck? Where? Where is she going to put this bird next to her snatch? She wants a tiny tattoo. She wants a bird nature tattoo ideas. Doesn't she already have like full sleeves? It's a loon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie character outfits 20 weeks ago. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what in the fuck? Movie character outfits. And it's just Ron Burgundy. <laughs> what? It's so weird. Wedding glam. A year ago. Wedding glam. So she re she just recently just decided to start Pinteresting again. So she wants a sunflower, a duck, and Aaron wants a microphone or a boxing glove on his titty. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Milk. April wants to go out and do shit, and Mooby is lame. Is that true? Maybe that is true. I'm so, Jason Bentley, you know, have a little faith. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. If you're too poor for a funeral, use a two-liter for an urn. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. If you're too poor for a funeral, use two-liter for an urn. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, Stella, for sending that in. I mean, just... We're going to need to see the new tattoo ideas. Uh, deadline for this is, of course, um, going to be midnight uh, on Friday. That's Friday morning before the show. Thursday night, Friday morning, midnight.